Okay, team. Wo two forward again here. QMSI for uh, Free Rural Welsh. Uh, this, I've been asked to uh, put another video on here because it, I, I'm getting uh, posed questions all the time about uh, how do we get fitter. You know, I'm doing the same thing. I'm not getting no fitter. Blah blah blah. So my previous video told you how to, we could drop weight or add weight to the body. All depend on the amount of calories we're in uh, putting into the body. That is. So hopefully that made sense to you. Now we're talking about how we get fit. And in the army, we are endurance beasts, okay, particularly in the infantry, okay, and that's what we've been uh, modelled to do, and push and push and push for distances and keep going, and the more endurance we do, the better stamina, uh, better our stamina becomes, we're stamina monsters, basically. However, even if we want to improve our stamina, there are other things that we should be doing alongside our endurance training. Endurance training should be done two, three times a week. That's long distance, steady state, mid aerobic zone, going, working on our endurance, like I've just said. However, in addition to this, we all know we need to be doing fitness training. And by fitness training, I mean like high intensity fitness training, uh, hit type stuff. You've heard it, high intensity interval training, um, fart lecking, parlev training, partner training, etc. So we've all heard these terms before, but what does it exactly mean? Right then, guys, simple as this. You start off base level fitness, really unfit, you start off running four or five miles a week. Your fitness levels will go up dramatically very quickly because you've not been doing any, any level uh, of fitness. Then what happens, you'll plateau and then little variance on that level of fitness as you go, uh, go along. But you won't get much fitter than once you've reached that peak of that uh, plateau. However, we can go past that. And the only way we go past that is by working on our heart and our cardiovascular system. And by the way we do that is by doing short, sharp bursts of whatever it is. Whether it's going to be sprints, whether it's going to be chest press, whether it's shoulder press, bicep curl, jumping over a box. Whatever it is that we're doing, we do it in shorter duration but way higher inten uh, intensity. Where we're going to be working in our aerobic zone with oxygen, that is, we want to be working when we're doing our hit tight training, high end aerobic. So here, mid end aerobic zone, maybe lower end aerobic zone, fat burning zone, they call it, is what we're on when we steady stating. We want to be up here now. So there's a marked difference in how we breathe, how we're feeling, how we're burning through our energy systems in the body more rapidly. Okay, so for an example of, of that would be, we are now going to work on our fitness, so my mile and a half on my 2K run becomes a better time now. If I just run 2K every day, I'll get more proficient at running 2K, of course I will. And after I plateaued at doing that for uh, 2K, I'm not going to get any fitter. Now, if I start to put interval training in there, say 100, 100 meter sprint, 100 meter recover back, 100 meter sprint, 100 meter recover back. What happens is my cardiovascular system is now getting pushed way harder than it is now when I've reached that plateau on that uh, 2K. So my cardiovascular system's getting pushed. Okay, so that means my body's uh, capabilities of taking in oxygen, uh, the diffusion of where that oxygen is pushed into the blood to push around to the muscles that need that oxygen, and then deoxygenated blood with the waste products and exercises taken away as well. The whole system going around gets become more proficient because we're working it harder. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you want to get that two, uh, 2K time better, I'm using this as an example by the way, the two, 2K, then all you do is interval training, short, sharp, fast. Same as if you're doing heavier weights in the gym and you're pushing, 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 once you've reached your, your, your maximum, that's it, you, you're done, okay? But we, we can make that better as well by dropping the weight a, a little bit and doing a little bit more higher intensity stuff, okay? Breathing hard, working those muscles a little bit more, okay? That means then we've got that little bit more oxygen and a little bit more capability to push through when they're really struggling at the end for the heavier sets. Okay then, so the difference between your long distance run is, works on your endurance, your stamina, doing short, high intensity stuff, works on your overall higher end fitness, okay, works that cardiovascular system a little bit more. So you want to get faster, you've got to do HIIT training. You want to be better at endurance training, you've got to do HIIT training. Okay, short, sharp training to work that cardiovascular system. Okay then team, it's as simple as that, it's not uh, rocket science, but all we tend to do is think if we go on a four or five mile every day, 
that we're gonna get so fit. You'll only get so fit until you've hit that plateau, okay? Once you've hit that plateau, you'll stay at the same level of fitness forever, okay? All right then team, got any more questions? Just pose them through your PSIs.